library, no talking. Hey YouTube, what's cooking? Dollar Tree cookbooks, that's what's cooking. So I'm hoping you'll enjoy today's haul all about cookbooks and other books that I found in the Dollar Tree aisle of their wonderful, wonderful reads. So let's get started, okay? Here we have this beautiful book here called 3D Body Revolution, all about keeping fit and lean. It is by an author named Donald Driver. This is a hardback book, and let me see if it has a value in here of $28. Hardback, pretty good. It's got all kinds of information and uh, depictions of exercises you can do to keep lean and fit. So I hear this is a really good book, so grab it if you see it, because it's not gonna be there very long. They did have a good supply of it on the shelves, but um, you know, you don't wanna take a chance on these now. Okay, and next we have a book by a young lady named uh, Ella Majors. She's the founder of Sexy Fit Vegan. Uh, this is the six weeks to sexy abs meal plan. Now I did get this one a while back. Nevertheless, I haven't used it yet because, um, you know, I've got the other ones that I've been going through first. Anyhow, this is a wonderful book. It's got so much information. I did skim through it and took some time out this afternoon to look through some of the pages. And it's got some recipes, uh, just different things on how to keep fit, okay, with meal plans. Very, very uh, good soft back, and let's see, it is a value of $19.99, so great bargain for a buck. Grab that while you can. And here is something for all you kitty lovers. This is a book of cat therapy guide to happiness called Purr. It's got these little buttons you can push as you turn the pages. It's got a speaker here, and it makes noises. You know, uh, little kitties make these different types of purrs. Now you can turn it on. I don't know if you can hear it, but let's see. <laughs> okay. Let's press one more. Okay, isn't that cute? Okay, all about kitties and them purring and being happy. Hardback book, it's wonderful. Oh my goodness, you're gonna love this if you can find it. I grabbed a couple of these to give out as gifts. So, oh my gosh, I can't wait to go through the entire book. Um, this is a value of, let's see, let's, let's see. I don't find a value on it. I don't think unless it's under the sticker. Nevertheless, I'm sure it's way more than a dollar. Pretty good hardback book. And it's got this little um, battery compartment here with an off and on switch. This is such a cute book, guys. Oh my goodness, you have to get it. Look, how could you not love a kitty book? Okay, so grab that. And oh, adults and kids alike. Can't miss out with that. Here's another hardback book uh, that is valued at $32.50. I don't know why 50 cents, but anyway, it's Weddings in Color, all about decorating for weddings in different colors. But I say you can um, apply these uh, ideas to everyday decor. It doesn't necessarily have to be for weddings. It's got so many beautiful vibrant colors in the pages of the different examples of decor, food, serving hors d'oeuvres, just different themes, different things you can do for decoration of weddings. I mean, it, this is such a wonderful book. Weddings in Color by, let's see, um, 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 uh, Vane Broussard. Let's grab that while you can. Okay. This one, I haven't opened yet. This is uh, a large hardback book 
called the Mayo Clinic Faith, Hope, and Science as featured on PBS. Is by David Blystein and Ken Burns. So I haven't opened it yet, nevertheless, it's a very large hardback. And this is the back. Tell what's on there and this is the doctors on that side so I hear it's an interesting read so definitely when you have something in shrink wrap it's it's a bargain because brand new you know it would cost a lot more than a buck so let me see if it's got something on the back a value of $24.95 that's what it says on the back so grab that while you can and this large book, hardback called New York. I forgot when I hauled this, but oh my goodness. You know I had to get this. My husband's family on his mama's side is from New York. So beautiful pictures of the New York skyline, parks, just all sorts of things. I mean, can't miss out with a big book on New York. Come on. All right, now. <clears throat> now we're going to start on the cookbooks. We're gonna do a quick run through on that so you can see what all is out there. This is the uh, soft back little spiro notebooks about crock pots, quick and easy recipes. All kinds of sandwiches, quick meals, noodles. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. Just all kinds of goodies that you can uh, prepare for your family or for yourself. Delicious, delicious. These little spiro notebooks, these are a real good bargain. Quick, easy to look through, and easy to handle. So grab that while you can. And here are some different books, also softbacks. Um, this one is uh, made about soups, and this one is easy breakfasts. And these have, I have to have pictures in my books, okay. Uh, quiet, quiet, I said quiet, no talking. Sit down, sit down. Okay. Here's some minestrone soup. I mean, oh my gosh, you're gonna fall in love with these books, they're so great. Okay. All righty. Here's another slow cooker book that you can get. Oh, this looks like a chowder on the outside. I'd love to make that. All types of meats, desserts, slow cooker book, grab that. Okay, the next one here is the Romantic Prairie Cookbook by Fifi O'Neill. Isn't that such a beautiful cover? Countryside, and then on the back, it's got a lot of pictures. I'd imagine it's her property I don't know for sure but beautiful pictures and settings and environments for the prairie cookbook all kinds of like comfort foods that you just can't help but enjoy okay so grab that Got a few more here the spiralized kitchen it's all about that spiralized vegetable cookbook um, if you've got a spiralizer, you know, for your zucchinis, all your vegetables, fruits, what have you, this is a win-win. You've got to have this. Look at that. Look how beautiful the back is. Okay. There's some pictures that are in it. Wonderful, wonderful ideas. Okay. Next is the uh, Cooking New American. How to cook food you love to eat. Look at how can you resist that cover? And on the back, it features some um, uh, chicken breast and some zucchinis and other casseroles. Beautiful pictures as well. Oh my gosh, all these it, Dollar Tree has outdone themselves this year on cookbooks. I am telling you, just it, beautiful, beautiful, vibrant pictures. You're gonna really enjoy this, okay? So grab that. And here's another um, new book by Lorena Garcia, Nuevos Tacos Clásicos. 
this is a wonderful cookbook by this young lady and you're gonna enjoy all these different recipes you can make tacos frittatas I mean just all kinds of stuff chicken even salads I mean step by step beautiful classic wonderful vibrant colors that one I heard there's some really good recipes in this one, okay? So make sure you get that one, if anything. Um, this one, well, I've, actually, I have two of these books. They're really thin uh, hardbacks. These are meals in minutes, so quick meals. And I'm sure you can find these, you know, elsewhere. Nevertheless, it's always good. I'm more of a classic mindset. I like to have the book in front of me. You know, if I'm doing a recipe as opposed to just getting it off the internet all the time. So nevertheless, beautiful, beautiful pictures of different types of meals you can make in just minutes. Easy when you don't have time to cook an elaborate meal. There's another one called Appetizers and Soups. Isn't that fantastic? Oh my gosh, you guys are going to have fun if you get any of these books because there are so many recipes you can go through. Okay. See what else we have here. This is a great book here. It's a hardback that is valued at, let's see, if I find a value here, I don't. But I'm sure it's a lot more than a dollar, as always. It's a hardback called An American Girl in London. 120 nourishing recipes for your family from a California expat. Marissa Hermer. I believe she's making some sort of uh, couscous or something on the cover, I'm not sure. But it looks like a delicious, nice summer salad there. All kinds of stuff you can cook. Oh my gosh, <gasps> that soup, delicious. No, you must have it. Okay, let's see. You guys are gonna have fun with these books, I mean. Personally, I wouldn't do any DIYs with them because they're so beautiful and nice to have around. I would look for maybe other old books at yard sales or something to uh, take apart for DIYs if you're going to do that. I wouldn't do any with stuff I find at brand new, you know, in the store. So grab this book. This is a wonderful little thing here. And here's a book by a young man called James Tahan, The Homemade Chef nice cover. I like this cover is unique because it's nice and slick and glossy on the front and on the back it's kind of a, a bit of a sandy texture so it's really nice uh, cover there. So here's salads. Look at that. Don't you just enjoy just looking at all these pictures? Ooh, looky there. Okay, Got some more meals there oh my god you guys seriously take the time you know to go through the book aisle and section and find yourself some goodies because there are some now i've hauled this before but i just want to remind those who haven't seen my previous video a companion book to the show called victoria on pbs wonderful pictorial about uh her family and the monarchy now i'm not much on royalty you know uh studying the history and all but i love the pictures the fashion the behind the scenes you know from the uh, actors and producers beautiful pictures so this is a companion book to the pbs series okay and um this one is still in shrink wrap called the rose art museum at brent wait did i hear somebody talking quiet in the library sit down relax Quiet. The Rose Art Museum at Brands. So I hear this is a good book as well. So this is a huge one now. It says it's a value of 60, $60. Can you imagine paying $60 at the museum itself for this or online? No, Dollar Tree. Okay, that one, of course, I hauled as well. So just look back on my previous video and you'll see it, okay, guys? Um, 
Now this is a box set that's also still in my shrink wrap. It's about Pope Francis. I don't know if it's a couple of books or, um, it says here on a sticker, it says with 250 photographs and 50 removable documents from Pope Francis's life, including his baptism certificate, handwritten letters, and a conclave ballot and more. So this should be a really good read. I mean, this was valued at $50. Good little ditty there huge it's like a phone book look at that okay so that's in one of my previous hauls and the last one here nevertheless it's a goodie about the Hearst Ranch still in shrink wrap as well valued at 50 I had this on a previous haul I have so many books now that I uh, can't keep up but beats going to the bookstore right so this one here is valued at 50 as well hardback so class i hope you enjoyed this library trip and let's see remember to subscribe come back for any information you may have uh, missed and i would really really enjoy if you guys would comment below contact me for any reason and uh, let's see what we can do for you in my next video so come back and we hope to see you and thank you so much for your support and subscribing and we hope to see you next time bye oh wait a minute got my baby here don juan say hi don juan george come say hi to youtube come say hi come on. hi youtube till next time bye